Alex Berman here for Inspire Beats. Here with another question for you. How should a SaaS B2B offering be priced? Uh, this is a question that comes up a lot, um, especially for newer businesses or ones that haven't found product market fit yet. Um, how do you come up with pricing? How does that work? And something that I, I found really useful is uh, something called the 10x rule, which basically what that means is anything you charge uh, should be about the amount of value you deliver divided by 10. So for instance, let's say you're building a mobile app, right? And it's a business that you're building. Um, and it's, uh, it's supposed to make the investor about $100,000. So you should charge $10,000 for that. That's a fair price. Um, if, you're, if your app improves efficiency by 10%, you, know, you can take that the other way. Let's say, I'm going to just bring up the calculator right here. Let's say you are able to improve their efficiency in a way that generates them about $9 million a year, you know, if you're able to, you should be able to ask for 10% of that, which is, you know, $900,000. And that's how you price. Um, at InspireBeats, we break our pricing down into a few different tiers based on that similar principle, right? So if you go, if we go over to InspireBeats.com, you can see how we're, we're broken down. So our starter package is 349 for 110 leads. And we're figuring, so 349 times 10, you want to get at least this amount. So $3,490 is how much somebody should make by investing in this. And that's the mindset you want to keep up. And then the bigger packages, hopefully they make more and more. You know, but $2,000 a month times 10 is 20000 So these 1,000 leads, and I mean, it makes sense, right? You got 1,000 leads, let's say you sell, even if you sell a $20,000 project, you just have to convert not even 1%, less than 1% of that. Yeah, if you convert 1% of those, you get 10. Um, so if they're $20,000 projects, you'll more than make your money back. So that's how I would go about pricing. Take the value you deliver to your clients or to your end customers and then divide that value by 10 and then you have your price.